Hello. Let's try for try number two on my. I'm having troubles already. Kiwi Ears Quintet. I know what you're saying. If you've watched one of my Kiwi Ears videos, uh, stick to the end on this one. Okay, Kiwi Ears Quintet, $219. Before we go there, let's talk about my Kiwi Ears journey. I keep saying every Kiwi Ears video that I really wish Kiwi Ears would do something. Again, like the Cadenza. The Cadenza was a big hit. I like it. I still have it because I enjoy it. It's a nice little single dynamic. Um... Then came the orchestra. I never bought that. I think three people did, and they said they didn't like it. So then Kiwi Ears basically cut out half the drivers and the price, and, and I bought that one, uh, the half orchestra. Uh, that one was kind of missing the lows and the highs, and yeah. Um, and then came the douche. Uh, that was... an if not replacement for the cadenza then there was the quartet with the balanced armature -ness. uh then there i just did the uh the melody which was the planar was okay but they took it to play they took out the planar it's just an r um it's just a plane <laughs> that doesn't fly uh then there was the forget me uh, they come up with weird names. Uh, I don't know. Anyway, the quintet. Sort of makes sense. I like it. Let's get into it. Uh, one 10 millimeter diamond like dynamic driver. Now, if you didn't know what DLC was, uh, basically it's a plastic cone with uh, a couple sprinkles of, of like um, carbon like material on it um ask, <laughs> ask <laughs> uh tang Zhu how that worked out for him in driver gate anyway moving on uh one piazzo electric bone conductor uh, that is attached it looks like to the dynamic driver how does it work uh-huh um, two babas. Uh, that's not my fault. I wrote it that way. It's a B A B A. Um, so two of those. Um, and one micro planar. I guess it's a planar that it's really cold outside and has sh shrinkage. Cause it looks like a balanced armature, but it's a small one. Uh, thirty-two ohms, hundred and six dB of uh, sensitivity. So higher in the impedance, so more resistance, less is going to get to it, but decently efficient, which is the 106 decibels per one watt at, that's what they mean by that. Uh, there is no plug choices again. You know, at a $220 IM, mm, it's, I don't think it's excusable anymore, honestly. Uh, four core SPC cable, a little tangly, but, uh, I used it for my sound impressions. Um, small, medium resin shell, tasteful wing. So it kind of meant that, I mean, it has a decently long nozzle. It has a good shape, uh, and they mix it all up and all of their IMs were, Again, it, uh, for me, I think it just feels like um, that Kiwi Ears kind of throwing a whole bunch of shit at a wall and see what sticks. And I don't mind that, um, but learn from it and uh, and get better. And I think they're trying. Um, now, uh, some of the other things that I liked is had a little flush two pin uh, on the side of it. It was nice. There's absolutely no markings though. Like, uh, well, no, I'm gonna not say that. That's wrong. Come on, uh, Kiwi ears goes on the right, and it says a little quintet right there on the left. So, okay, 
as long as you remember what side is left, what side is right, um, there's no ear tip in this. I'm not an idiot. Well, uh, so it, it actually, you know, it goes in, it's nice and it's medium small. So it should fit a lot of people's ears. So great. The little wing helps hold it into your concha there, which is good. And um, what else? Um, I'm happy to say that I appreciate the design and the shell and how plain it is. And again, one of my criticisms is stop making the the Fortiza forget me whatever it was called. To uh, it's, it's all you're coming out with all these fancy shells and stuff. The tuning just kind of sucked. Um. And here, this one's just really understated. And I was like, oh, okay, great. Then they put, you know, all of the stuff into the IM, which is great. This is the second Kiwi Ears I am going to fully endorse. Um, there you go. I have been super critical, and I admit it, and rightly so. I mean, uh, there's so much stuff out there. Um, there's no rhyme, reason, or excuse to throw something half-assed out um, and a lot of people just buy kiwi ears just being a fanboy but uh, there's, there's just so much other good stuff out there for the same or less uh, there's no excuse to throw your money at them right uh, they gotta deserve it in my opinion um, so first of all I have just come off of two kilo buck, multi kilo buck IMs, the uh, TSMR Tanzio Mirai um, RGB, three thousand dollars, phenomenal, um, and the pen on impact again, just stellar. And when I do that, I normally throw a reset set in to reset my sensibilities. Thank you, King Nubian, for for putting that uh, saying out there and resetting the Canuck Audioholics uh, sensibilities. <laughs> you do that for us. Um, but this wasn't... I didn't. I stuck him in my ears and I didn't do that. And, I, and it wasn't, ooh. It was more like, oh, oh, this is okay. And then I started listening to it more. And then I started to understand this I am and some of the things that is unique about it and it was a bit hard to 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 nail down on paper about what I was hearing but there's something about this I am that is uh, different in a good way um, and I do appreciate Kiwi ears for their bravery and throwing things at a, a wall, right? Um, and for new stuff and putting four different kinds of drivers in one IAM. I don't know if there's one exactly like this as well. Um, and while a lot of their other releases for me hasn't resonated, um, I, I do applaud their effort for, you know, and not making a V-shaped clone again, right? That's, you know, thank you for, for doing that. Um, some of the highlights and the sound signature that I kind of really came to my brain was the big open stage. Um, and the way this IM placements stuff into the sound stage and the, and the, and the, in the sound station that was the good word i was using there and uh, the mid-range tonality is detailed and clean while not exactly well not even remotely close to being uncolored monitor like uh, it's colored in its own special way upper mids and treble are very detailed actually uh not glary and not too forward which is quite nice it's it it do, does present differently a lot of people ask me, this is probably one of the most uh, asked for sets for me to share my impressions. So <coughs> I hope I don't let you down. Screw it up. The bass 
has presence. Um, it will try to play notes. Actually, it's one of the things I noticed about it. If, so if I was playing a, a, some Drake or, you know, Run DMC, um, you know, uh, classics uh, that have bass, and it tries to go low. Some I had a couple songs from Tina Gao and... Um, where it actually does have some sub bass they did mix it in and the little quintet actually was like the little choo choo that could it it certainly tried to go down there and it didn't hesitate and it didn't flutter so bravo quintet now does it it's not a bass monster um uh, i would call this more on the conservative side for sure, for bass. Um, and it actually has quite decent control over the bass as well. So that was quite nice. My one criticism that I wish on this set is I wish the bass was more textured and punchier. I wish they would have taken the balanced armature or one of them and kind of made it go lower into the mid bass. That would have been nice uh, for the tuning, but overall, uh, this is tuned in a certain way, and I'm and I'm sure there's many people that will enjoy the way it is tuned without my criticisms. Uh, but for me, I would have wished the kick drums and and. Uh, instruments that play lower into the bass were more prominent um, and the punchier the bass in the mid bass area is where you get your kick drums and your snaps and stuff like that more textured so for rock and stuff like that maybe not the best set um, I wouldn't say this set is geared up for rap or that either right but let's talk mids and I'll pull up a graph eventually mids play a bit on the leaner thinner side um of neutral so this one makes male vocals tad thin shaggy sting um not the gurneal weight to their voice it's a little thin they don't quite sound like sting or shaggy they sound like they're cousins that are wearing a dress and that's nothing wrong with that so uh but and so here's the flip side of that uh because there's more energy on the upper end that the female vocals are stand out um so it emphasizes more female vocals than male vocals because of the different tonality of the weight that the quintet puts forth um string instruments electric guitars is lively and it's enough detail in there in the top end uh to express emotion so and this is kind of leading up into the highs where i think they're the real star of the quintet uh bright airy detailed uh, without being overdone or oversaturated or sounding forced so that's kind of where it was geared to and i gotta say that's probably because of this configuration that's very unique right so you got a dynamic driver and i'm just assuming what's doing what um dynamic driver is doing the, the low end the piazzo is helping out somewhere along that line um and then the, the balanced armatures are probably doing the mids and the upper mids and uh, maybe into the highs. And then that uh, micro uh, planar is probably doing the highs and ultra highs. And whatever is those four drivers are doing, they're doing it very cohesively, um, which is a, a standout feature. I think that's really great. You can't hear what one is doing and one and the other one is doing. So, and again, I will say, again, applaud Kiwi Ears for taking a risk and putting together an IM with four different kinds of drivers. That seems to complement each other. Um, and I think they played the, these four drivers to the best of their um, talents, right? 
So pick a dynamic driver for the lows, pick a BA for the mids, pick a, you know, they all, I think that's well thought out for sure. Um, the Quintet overall for me, sound wise is just different enough and offers a unique sound, uh, in the top end. And it's really hard to describe. Um, but it should appeal to the masses. It really should, uh, while not really being offensive to too many. Um, well, lovers of kind of warmer, darker tunings, um, you're not going to gravitate towards the set. But you still might want to pick one of these things up as a complimentary set because you've got the warm and dark and lush vocals and that kind of stuff. And then you've got something that's slightly different that you can pick up and, and, uh, and enjoy. So, um, yeah, uh, I, I, for the third and last time, I'm going to say bravo to Kiwi Ears. Uh, keep up innovating. Keep uh, bringing us uh, some bangers. Um, and I'm just really looking forward to what I'm going to see in the future. I mean, I think if they keep going, um, they're going to grow as a company. And uh, it's just nice to see some... As hard as I am on this company, I, I, I do appreciate them in the industry, in the hobby, to, uh, to, to be one of these companies that try to be different and don't try to do the same thing and the same tuning all the time. <sighs> I was going to say KZ, but I, I'm glad I didn't, right? I, not to name call or to to you know put anybody out there casey anyway that's enough for this one thank you very much for watching my video um uh, lots of cool stuff coming up and thank you and stay tuned